I'm Aaron McCaleb here with Plano Fishing. We're talking about our new Edge launch. Edge is a new product, a tackle storage product from Plano Fishing. It's been two years in the making with our pro staff um, and internal developers to create the new Edge. Edge, um, Edge, with Edge we tried to address every major tackle storage solution. So the first thing that we want to talk about is rust prevention. So in all new Edge boxes we have restrictor cooked right into uh, the base of the box. So everything that you see in gray on Edge has restrictor technology in it. Second thing that we wanted to do was make the box um, easy to open yet waterproof. So we have a one-handed latch design. So you just push down and lift up and the box opens. And then you'll notice that we have a pour-in mold uh, gasket. So this keeps water out of the box. Then you'll notice that no more do you, with the edge, you don't have to cut apart the dividers. Yes! Right? So they come already molded, <laughs> ready to go. They're dovetailed, so they slide right nice and neat into the box. And there's even a little recessed area in the box to keep terminal tackle from sliding underneath the dividers. You also notice that the dividers are have little holes in them. That allows the restrictor technology to flow across the baits, air to flow across the baits and help uh, the drying process as well as the rust inhibiting process. Then you'll finally you'll notice a little weird divider here in the middle. It's a little fat one. This divider has a desiccant pack in it that absorbs water. You can remove that pack, put it in your microwave, uh, dry it out, and then put it back in the edge box to uh, to continue to remove water. Um, another thing that you, you'll notice about the box is that it's uh, super sturdy. It's got ribbed bottom on it, so it's, it's not going to flex. It's not going to open up. It's very well built. The pin, the hinges are actually molded. The pin of the hinge is actually molded into the box, so the the hinges won't pop off. And you can. How many tackle boxes you could do that with? Yeah. So that's so. So this basic line of edge comes in four four boxes in the basic series. There's ten overall SKUs. Um, there's the 3600 and 3700 series, so it's a very familiar footprint, and both um, standard size and deep fit size. Then we have six SKUs that are for specific tackle storage solutions. And I'm gonna review this one with you right now. So this is made for jerk baits, spy baits, longer crank baits and such. Um, guys spend a lot of money on some of these baits, right? Um, you want custom, custom painting and all that kind of stuff. And the last thing you wanna do is put them in a box that's gonna get rust. Or when they smack against each other, you may wanna have specific baits that you really wanna take care of and not ruin the finish on them. So Edge, so with Edge, our engineers came up with a unique solution to keep baits with these uh, silicon fingers. So the baits literally nest within the silicon fingers and they don't get tangled up, and they don't move around, they don't shake around and beat against each other. There, another cool feature about that is over time, this silicon will begin to take shape of that bait to really hold that bait. But if you want to custom and move baits around based on different fishing conditions or whatever, then you notice that, okay, Maybe I have a longer bait here or a fatter bait here, and um, you want to put a smaller bait in that spot, and it doesn't quite fit, but it could because the fingers have moved. You just take, you, this is removable. You set it out in the sun, and the fingers reset. Nice. So, and then finally on the on all edge boxes, you know, we always want to store them vertically, right? But you don't know what's in there. So we have a labeling system, so you can write on there with a Sharpie. And then it's also removable, so you put a little Windex or something like on that, and uh, the Sharpie will come right off, and you can relabel it. So, so Aaron, I, I I love it, but you've now made me unhappy because I spent seventy nine dollars on a label machine. There you go. That's now worthless. Yeah, well, that's what eBay's for. <laughs> yeah, <right>? yeah. <laughs> how much are they going to? When are they going to be available? And how much are they going to be? So um, we're launching these uh, January of 2020 to the consumers. Um, the edge will range from $19 for, for the entry level box to $49 for our terminal tackle box, which is this box right here. Uh, the terminal tackle box is a, is a box within a box system. So you think about if you're drop shot fishing or you know fishing a, a technique and you might need the same lure or the same hook and the same sinker throughout the day, but you don't want to keep getting into the box. This keeps away from all that terminal tackle from sliding over your box and that each little individual piece is removable. Shut up and they have a top and to they them. Have tops. So you could take them out, put them in your pocket, and then use them throughout the day and not have to keep getting into your main tackle storage solution. 
then so y'all will come with the three big um, three big clear ones and three big um, opaque ones but what's unique about these is they're specifically made for like tung tungsten weights so they have molded inserts to hold your weights together so they don't smack against each other and, uh, and the different sizes from um, scuffing those up oh you have just made my day yeah so yeah this is actually probably um, those two boxes that we reviewed are probably the most popular boxes at, yeah. uh, at the show awesome Got, and they can go to planofishing.com to check them out, correct? Yeah, so planofishing.com. Also check out our Facebook page. We're doing a sweeps right now where we had three of our pros put together um, their select lures in their favorite boxes, and we're giving those away. So somebody out there can win an edge with these lures, then the edge box won't be available to, to other guys for another six months. And three guys can win on to, you know, within the next uh, couple weeks. Awesome. Thank you very much. What's going on guys? Chad Pipkins here. I'm at ICAST 2019 at the Blunt Around booth. Soft bait. Best in show, baby. 2019. This is the Phantom Spider. It comes in six colors. It's a quarter out. It's got a couple razor sharp hooks on this thing. If you've ever seen a real spider, uh, spider dart across the water, this looks identical to it. This thing will literally walk across the water when you're pulling it. You can also pop it in place. And it pops in place almost like a still frog. You guys, little movement, the bait's not gonna dart out of the strike zone. Throw this thing around trees, throw it around docks. It's available online in the next couple weeks, $8.99. Check it out. Spinning reel, 30 pound braid, have yourself a good time. Walk around, Phantom Spider. Thank you. Do, do what you gotta do. Michael Krulik with uh, Mycos Outdoors, and we're here at ICAST introducing our new product, the Knockin' Tail Lures, as a rattle built into the tail. So as long as it's wiggling, it's rattling. I don't know if you can hear that. Maybe, maybe not. It's all right. All the, all the new, all the Knockin' Tail Lures have a have a small rattle. Or yes. Tell us how that. Yep. So right here in the back of the tail, there's a rattle, glass rattle, glass. Uh, glass rattle with metal beads in each tail. So as long as it's swimming, uh, even on the fall, uh, it's gonna wiggle as it falls down with a jig hit, and it's gonna rattle all the time. So it's kinda like a rattle trap, but it's a soft plastic. You can rig it weedless, you can rig it on jig hit, and you're, you're constantly gonna get that fish attracting sound, stimulate that lateral line, and catch more fish. How did you come up with this idea? Sound, sound catches fish. So everybody wants a rattle in their lures. You got crankbaits with rattles, you got rattle trap. Everybody's trying to put a rattle in it, but no one's put it in the tail yet. And this is, you know, a lot of soft plastics have it in the body, and they only rattle when you twitch it, and then it stops. So it's just a faint click here and there. But this one, by putting it in the tail, all you have to do is reel, reel and pause. And you're going to get that fish attracting sound, and you're going to catch fish. Now they'll be available soon in the fall, uh, hopefully. These will be available in soon. Uh, Knockintaillures.com or MyCoastOutdoors.com. Uh, we have a link up on our website already at MyCoastOutdoors to tell about the product and uh, just follow us there and we'll let you know when the release date is. How many colors are they going to come in? Uh, we're going to let our customers determine that. We're probably going to start out with four to six different colors, uh, possibly more, but a, a minimum in that range. And they're all uh, in a swim bait type? Uh, they're they're going to be in a swim bait style and our first one that we're going to release is going to be four inches. This one here in my hand is five inches, uh, but we're going to release a four inch model first. Cool. Everyone go to, you have Instagram, Facebook, yep. all that stuff? My Coast Outdoors is Instagram and Facebook, and that's also the website. My Coast and they Outdoors. also have the Get Inhaled. Yep, we have the Control Descent Lures, and put a good video here. Once you see that clean water, the next one. Yeah. Okay, so this is our control descent lure line where you can control the sink rate. Um, this right here is a three odd hook with a 1 16th ounce weight, and you can see the slow sink rate that you're going to get on it. These are great for fishing shallow water, cold water, uh, grassy areas, a lot of shell. It'll keep you off the bottom, and it'll hold it in the strike zone a lot longer um, than it just falling straight to the bottom when you pause it. So it's a really good, really good action here, and uh, it's just a very versatile lure. You can fish them as a top water. Uh, slow sinking, suspending, um, just anything you want to do with it. Once you can get it to float with a hook in it, 
uh, the world is yours. You can make it do whatever you want. How many colors are those going to come in? Uh, we have 10 colors right now in two different styles. We have it in a paddle tail, and we also have it in a straight tail jerkbait. And those are available right now? Those are available now at mycoastoutdoors.com. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks. I'm William Green. I'm with uh, Fish Logger. Uh, it's at fishlogger.com. What we have here is a 50-pound digital fish scale. So with a uh, lip gripper, uh, tape measure, um, it does. It has a tear function, uh, nine different memory spots. Um, it does uh, pounds and kilograms. Uh, what ours does that the others don't do is it comes with a, a, a free app. So when you have a fish, you click on add fish, and I have a Bluetooth function right here on the handle. When you click it, that activates the camera. Um, so you, any any smart device that you have, your uh, tablet, your iPhone, you know whatever it is. Now you hold it up here, click the same button. There's the guy filming you. Oh. So you have a, a, a picture of... A, hold on, we're deleting that part out. <laughs> you have a picture of you and your fish, and in this case a camera. Um, records over a dozen different data points, including barometric pressure, temperature, uh, uh, wind speed, location, all that stuff. Um, and you, it, share, uh, it saves that out to a savable database that's yours and yours alone, stays private. Um, so the next time you're back in the area uh, uh, at, at, a, at a date in the future, you can type in uh, today's weather conditions and it tells you where you caught all those fish last time under similar conditions. Uh, of course, if you want to brag about it, you can share it out to Facebook. If you're doing a tournament, you can share it directly to your tournament captain. The best part about this is um, MSRP is $49.99. That's what you were going to pay for a digital fish scale anyway. We're throwing in the app for free. So it's at fishlogger.com and it's on Amazon. So. How long have you been? How long? How long did it take to come up with this idea? This is about a year and a half in development. So okay. uh, we we had it as a prototype last year at uh, at ICAS, but now we have it in full production, and uh, they just came in about a month ago. Awesome! So, so you're some of the first to hear, be hearing about it. 